What's going on guys, this is KNasty390 here, welcome back to another episode of Kansas City Franchise Rebuild, episode number two. So we just finished the draft in the last episode, we're in first year, we kind of, I want to say, I thought we dismantled the team, however we're still doing halfway decent, our pitching's amazing, with Tyon, Junis is pitching great, Triggs is pitching solid, Duffy's pitching alright, our bullpen surprisingly is halfway decent for the few guys. Um, our lineup's not amazing, but, like, we're only a couple games out of the playoffs, but I just know that's not going to last. Uh, we had our draft. Our draft was pretty solid. We had three Bs, and then we got an A here, a 92 overall. We have some good young players. So we're going to continue the simulation. Uh, I think what will happen <clears throat> around the trade deadline, unless we are somehow still in it, Rangers offers to trade Matt Olson for Willie Calhoun. Willie Calhoun's a good young player. Matt Olson's better. Um, <clears throat> anyway, what I was going to say, uh, if, I mean, if we're in it, I guess maybe, but I don't expect us to, I just, we're not that good. Uh, I think, I mean, the law of average is we were, we're playing above our heads. I don't want to be good. I want to be terrible and get a, a, a really high pick. Solaire for three pieces. Roman Quid's a player. Uh, Gamboa, a shortstop. B potential 60 overall and Burrito. I think we can get more for Solaire. I actually might look to trade him very soon. But we'll see where we're at the trade deadline. I think Cervelli, our catcher, is a guy we can trade. Um, but we got rid of most of everyone. Whoa, Mankata got traded. This is a blockbuster. Alex Reyes is a good pitcher. Uh, he's had Tommy John in real life. But there's no injuries in this. Tyler Neal is a pretty solid outfielder. Shroke, I don't know too much about him. But Mankata, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, Mets interest to trade Foster Griffin. So a starting pitcher for Anthony Swarzak, who's a reliever, 32 years old. No, that's like the deal that we would like. We'd be on the other end. We'd give up a reliever for a young pitcher, not trade the young pitcher. All right, so we are 48 and 57. We are now 10 games out. The division's not as strong, as weak, excuse me, as I thought it would be. It's I thought it'd be more a lot worse. Um, Duffy is still okay. A 4.07 ERA. Tylen's kind of coming back to the more realistic but he's still improving all his per nines are getting better good young pitcher he's he's our future ace Junis is pitching still fine I mean he's obviously gotten a little worse Skolog is pitching pretty bad which is nice Triggs is Triggs guy's a stud we had to pick him up the guy pitches amazing our lineup Billy Burns is is hot right now but how's Matt Olson he has 19 home runs just let him continue to develop. He's getting better. That's the most important thing. Solaire's hitting really well. I mean, I don't want to trade him, but I'm going to see what's out there. Uh, Cervelli, he's in 323 as a catcher, but I think he's in the last year of his deal. So let's see what's out there for definitely Cervelli. Uh, I don't think he's part of the future. If you're not part of the future, then you're part of the problem. He has one year remaining, but he is 32. I, I guess I won't give him away. If we can get a legit prospect that I like. And there's some good players here. I, I want to, Lucas Ursag is a good, promising young player. Jojo Romero. Um, Carter Kaiboom, potentially. Nick Nearder, it's, it's a good young pitcher. Um, hmm, a couple Bs, but uh, Max Povzi, or Povs, I don't know how to say his name. Sorry, Max. Uh, I don't really like you. Uh, Chris Rodriguez. Ooh, a shortstop, 19 years old, 61 overall. B potential. Let's take a look at him. He's kind of like a project, but you know what? For Cervelli, I'll do that. We will get a little bit worse. And we do have Viloria, who I probably don't. I want him to stay in the minors another year, continue to develop. We'll just have some garbage guy here. Um, but let's get rid of some more players on the team. Billy Burns, does he have any? He might. We could get a prospect for him. Even if, like, we get a B that... You, ooh, we can get a couple Bs for him. Where, where was that? Two from the Yankees. Clark Schmidt and Domingo Ger, uh, German. Or German. Anthony Banda. Austin Franklin. Casey Gillespie. Nolan Jones. We can actually get a good prospect for Billy Burns. So, no doubt in my mind we're trading him. Alex Jackson, a catcher. I might do that. Nick, uh, Let's get the catcher. Alex Jackson. He's not a great hitter, but he's a pretty good fielder. Oh, not... Yeah, I know. Actually, his power's not bad. 
I know in prior years he's turned into a pretty good fielder, so that could be a promising young catcher. Now, we have depth here. We have MJ Melendez, another 19-year-old, but never hurts to have catchers. Teams want catchers. Look, it, we're starting to – we don't have, like, a ton of studs. If we do, they're already on the big league club, except – for um, the one starter, Hunter Green, who's now a top 50 prospect. He does have a mid 90 potential. Uh, he's from the Reds. We got him. Uh, but all in all, we have we're starting to build up a lot of B potential guys, which is good. That is, that's a good way to get players. You can like get like a, like when you are eventually we're going to be there if we need to get that extra piece. These guys will help with us. Um, hmm. I guess we can try Solaire. He doesn't have a... I thought he might have more value. But let's see what we can get. Let's... I don't think we can get an A. DJ, Al, DJ Hall is a pretty good young player. Three Bs. Tyler O'Neill, who just got traded. Bo Burrows. Uh, Badu. Jahami Jones and Barreria. Andrew Moore. Cole Raggins. <clears throat> David Paulino. Aaron Blair. Some good players, but... Coda Glover. I really want like I can't, I'm being a little greedy, but it's because we don't need to trade him. We don't need to trade him. Pavin Smith. Now we already have a first baseman, but we do have the option of a DH. Um, no, I kind of like. Uh, I mean, he's doing really well this year. His WAR wins above replacement right now is at a 2.5. That's literally by far. The, that's if you take everything he's had in his career. That's what he's doing this year. So he's having a great year. Soler is only 26, and he is locked up. So I'm probably going to keep Sol uh, Jorge Soler. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's... Uh, oops. Um, you know what? Actually, let's... Bef before I say we're good, might as well just get rid of anyone who's not going to be part of the future. And just see what we can get. So, Brandon Morrow, I mean, he's he's pitching all right, but he's been bad for his career. He's having a good year. Let's capitalize on it. We can probably get, like, a B potential prospect for him. We can get a Duggar. Um, Heredia, a left fielder, 19 years old, B potential. I'll take that. He's a good young player. We save some money. We get rid of him. Brian Flynn, uh, I know he's a lefty. He's pitching well. Actually, do you want to keep him? Because he's only 27. Uh, Justin Grimm. He has good hits in case per nine. Not a ton of value out there. Seth Manis. He makes a million dollars, so if I can just get rid of him for anything, I will just take... There is a B potential guy we can get. I'm just thinking, let's save some money. That'll just help us out. Oh, there we go. I don't even care. He's a B. Just add more B potential guys to it. Um... As you see, we can have a lot of we have a lot of bees here, and like I said, we can we can package them. As you can see, they have value. If we want to package like three of them, we can get a good player. Uh, I don't think we're gonna do that yet, but that option is definitely there. And Chester doesn't have much value. Cody Ash, not much value. John Jay has like no value. Yeah, I think we're probably good. I think we're good. So let's just. Double A has too many people. Actually, why not call up these bad double A players to the majors? <laughs> Let them lose games for us. That's how uh, that's how you tank at a, at an NBA level, I guess you would say. Ooh, actually, he's a B potential. I kind of want to keep him. I don't want to ruin a young player. I want to call up guys who don't have a future with our team. The guys who I like as prospects, I want them to continue to in the minors. Don't waste their service time and continue to improve. Um, and hopefully we can... Um, oh, we got to re just release some people. And hopefully we can get... I'm hoping to get... Let's get a top seven pick next year for next year's draft. That's what I'm hoping for. That might be difficult because we're winning just too many games. We... We don't score, but we usually pitch. All right, there were some losses there. Come on, get these L's. We keep, like, splitting series or winning series. We're 65 and 72. Yeah, we're not as... I mean, we're not... There's no talent on this team, but we're winning. 
So we, yeah, 76 and 86, not as bad as I wanted to be. Our record, yeah, we're third. Yeah, like we, I, be in last episode, it's like I could see us being third, and we're gonna be a terrible team with a 29th ranked team. But we, and we scored nothing, but we pitched really well. So we have 76 wins. Let's we can, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, what is it, so wait, we had 76, we have the 13th or 14th pick in the draft, of next year's draft, so that's what we have, um, we can take a look at top prospects, see where are any of our players rank on that, do we have anyone on it, we do, Hunter Green is 22nd on it, that's good, that's one of the guys we got in the last episode, I think that's gonna be it, yep, that is it, Okuna looks like a stud. Damn, that guy's going to be good. Uh, let's see how the team did. Danny Duffy pitched really well. Um, don't look at the record. That's not important. But he had 3.8 ERA, a 127 whip. That's not amazing, but that's solid. Tie on a 369 ERA. Struck at 170 and 195 innings. Not bad. Jake Junis had an ERA almost at 3. 3.04. That's really good. Uh, Skolog struggled, which is fine. And look at Triggs. I'm telling you guys, if you ever need a guy, like we're not, we don't want to win. But once we're going to be good in a, or good in a couple years, I mean, he'll still only be like 32. Let's say in like three years, 31, 32, he'll still be putting up numbers. He always does in the, in these franchises. So if you guys, if you're planning on being good and you want a cheap guy who's good, he's six hundred thousand dollars. Andrew Trigg, Andrew Triggs, always really good. Uh, let's see how the lineup did. We don't really care about too many. Solaire had a very good year. 279 average, 26 home runs. On base percentage of 372, 479 slugging. That's a winner of a placement of 3.3 as a DH. Matt Olson hit 27 home runs. That's not bad. I, I told you guys he's going to hit 50 one year for us. I don't know what year it is, but he will do it. A war of only 1.6. I was expecting that a little higher. Uh, let's see just how some players um, got better. As you can see, our starters, we got some young starters coming up. Like, Albertos is a couple years away, but there's promise there. Same with Griffin, not too high on Oaks because of his age. There's Hunter Green, we're high on him. Uh, let's see, catchers. His glove plays. Valoria's glove is ready. His bat's not. I think he's still probably two years away from being a big leaguer just because of how poor of a hitter he is. He may turn into a guy. Like, if you guys watched our um, Tampa Bay series... There was a guy, Forrest Miles. He was kind of like this, but he was a second baseman. He turned into a, a slightly be below average hitter, but because of his elite defense, he had great value for us. Alex Jackson, uh, there's pop there. I mean, he. I think worst case scenario for this guy, he's going to be a backup catcher, and his potential is increasing. Maybe he goes to an eight potential. Uh, I mean, he could have like 80-ish or so power in a few years if it continues to develop. Melendez is, again, he's a big-time project, but hey, let him continue to develop. Uh, first base, Prado looks, he definitely improved, especially versus power versus left and in contact. That's nice to see. He's now a 70 overall. Um, we'll see how the bat plays. Josh Naylor didn't really have a great year in the minors. Kind of was a little stagnant. Uh, Tyler ne Nevin had a pretty solid year. Increased a little bit. Alonzo didn't really change a whole lot. Uh, Mondesi. He kind of went nowhere. I'm not sure how great of a big leaguer he'll be. I mean, he's a second baseman, uh, but he doesn't have elite fielding. I guess his best attributes are bunting and speed. So, I mean, you got that. He'll, I mean, he'll be cheap. Uh, Hunter Potts is our only young third baseman, and he's he had a good year. His contact increased. Not much power. Um, some shortstops. A little nothing too crazy here. They didn't. I'm looking, he got a plus 11 contact versus left. Other than that, not a whole lot of change for him. And left field, Heredia, we got him in a trade. It looks to be like he might have a future as a as an a average hitter. That's maybe some pop in that bat. We'll see. He's only 19, so there's promise there. Joshua Lowe didn't really change that much. But he's getting up. He's improving. Same with Cleo Lee. Improving, so that's good. Not decreasing. And Solaire is now an A potential, so he was a B potential. He is now an A potential, so he might turn into something. We'll see. Uh, Bonifacio increased, especially in contact, plus 7 and plus 10. So that's not bad. We'll take a look at awards. 
Correa and Kershaw got MVP. Chris Sale and Kershaw got Cy Young. Trout got the batting title with Cesar Hernandez in the National League. Interesting. David Robertson, reliever of the year. And Doolittle in the National League. Otani, rookie of the year. Not a great pitching year for him. Um, but did get rookie of the year. And Tyler Bede in the National League. Hank Aaron Awards, Trout and Bryce Harper. Gold Gloves. We didn't get any awards. Ben Attendee, hey, Red Sox and Mookie Betts. Silver Sluggers. Fly through them, not really. I mean, they're all just the best names of baseball. Um, if you guys want to see some stats, like who led the league in home runs. Judge hit 50. Hoskins hit 45. Damn, he looks really freaking good. That's not bad. Um, we'll send the playoffs. I think the next episode will be the offseason, guys. So let's just, this will be a shorter video. Um, it's probably going to be around like 16, 17 minutes. So usually what we do on these, the Dodgers defeat the Indians to win the 2018 World Series. Usually what we do once we start to get a little bit better, there'll be an episode of the offseason, episode of the regular season, episode of the playoffs. It's usually what we do. Right now there's no playoffs, so we kind of like the episodes a little different at the beginning. But we are building the team. I think I like the direction we're going. We got so we got pitching. Continue to develop. We had a good draft. Continue to make smart moves in the offseason. And the Royals are going to be really good. Really, I don't want to say really soon, but relatively soon. Give us a couple years. We're going to be really good. Hope to build that dynasty. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please drop a like if you did. I will talk to you later, boys. Take it easy. Peace.